Hi, my name is Michelle and this is my story. I remember one day I was, um, I was early 18 and I was sitting outside of McDonald's and I had a cigarette in my hand and I dropped the F-bomb a few times and I saw on my reflection and I remember going, who are you? Seriously? Who is this person? She is so ugly inside and out right now. And that was probably the start of my who am I and what I want. It, it was a slow thing for me. It was never, I never made a decision that I was going to rebel. I never, it was never, never anything like that. It was just this slow one choice after another um, of walking away from the will of God for my life. Went to school in Townsville where I met Matthew and um, we were 15 years old when we met high school sweethearts. When I was 18, I'd finished school and I was working um, at Macca's as a manager and I uh, found myself pregnant, which was a, an incredibly, uh, what's the word, an incredibly daunting, life-changing moment. Finding out that we were pregnant with our first child, who was Jessica, um, changed my life and it threw me back towards God. So that was a, it was a crazy time, but I look now at what Jessica has um, gone on to do and who she is. Some things are tough to walk through. Don't give up. Don't give up. You dig your heels down and seek God and, and ask God for help and the fruit of that that time it's amazing you know she's she's a delight I've I found personally for myself that worship has been the place where um, God has really spoken to me and um, brought healing in my life and set me free from like you know crazy mindsets and insecurities and things that have bound my heart and my favorite part of leading worship I'll be honest is the altar call watching people walk to the altar. Still makes me choke up. That people could experience what I've experienced and get to have a life that is so undeserving. What God has done in my life, he has taken an insecure kid and he has made her secure in her calling and her destiny in him. And he has grabbed um, a couple of people who were madly in love but incredibly messed up. And he has renewed them and made them new. And today I am so grateful for the journey, but I am absolutely grateful for the love of God in my life. Everyone can have a God story, and that's mine.